welcome to today's video. Today I'm at Front Street Pub and Eatery in Davenport, Iowa, where I'm about to tuck in to this massive five pound pork nacho challenge. Now I'm going to have only 45 minutes to finish about five pounds of nachos, which you see in front of me, absolutely loaded with pork. We have roasted corn. We have like a bunch of cheese, obviously, because nachos. We have some lime crema, pico de gallo, and I think some like cilantro-y type stuff, chives, right? Right, we're chef, I don't know. It's okay, I'll confirm in the voiceover. But anywho, 45 minutes to finish everything here. If I'm successful, I do get the $35 meal for free. I do get a groovy t-shirt to add to my collection, and I do get my name and photo up on their wall of fame. I just watched Randy do this thing, which made me super duper hungry. I'm gonna go as beast mode as I can on this thing because who needs utensils when you have hands? And uh, yeah, let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. I think I'm ready to eat some nachos. I feel hungry, hangry, there's beer involved. I like it. All right, one, two, three. It is nacho eating time. Woo, baby, there we go. Let's dig in. What is up, Kilo Crew, and welcome to a rather messy and crunchy challenge. Winner. <laughs> I believe I said winner. That is the uh, full mouth translation. Cheese, pork, sauce, can't go wrong. Yes, and can confirm there were chives on this thing. I don't know why I couldn't figure out what the little green things on the nachos were, but you know, I'm not too familiar with vegetables. <laughs> this is happiness. I consider myself to be quite the nacho enthusiast. Whenever I go out with Randy, we tend to split a big ol' order of nachos, and by split, I mean I eat most of them. <laughs> the flavor is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, the pork nachos were a super popular menu item at Front Street Pub. Lots of folks were ordering the uh, regular sized portions, and I can see why. I forgot the scariest ingredient, pickled jalapenos, which spicy is my enemy, so we'll see how that goes. They actually weren't too bad. They were definitely more pickly than spicy. And uh, yeah, the, the heat slowly did build up throughout the challenge, but it wasn't too terrible. Not as bad as I was expecting. Go Tina! Thank you! But back to it though, there was no shortage of chips on this platter. A pound of chips, which if you're not familiar, that is how much is in like a party size bag. I'm pretty sure this is how many nachos I inevitably eat when I go out drinking anyway, so just another day at the bar for me. Not really. All of my <laughs> eating secrets exposed, <laughs> but no, really, I, I prefer to graze while I'm having a libation or two. Delicious, but a little tricky to eat just because the chips are really sharp. Yeah, I gotta say, these chips held strong. They didn't really get soggy over time or anything, so there was a lot of crunching, a lot of chewing. The nachos keep regenerating. It certainly felt like it. The more I would dig into the pile, the more it would kind of slide and spread out and expand. Five minutes away. Mm. Halfway there. Halfway there. Woo! 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 Gotta love some good old-fashioned crowd support. There were actually a few parties that ordered this tray and shared it like wise people. Oh, this is exactly how I eat nachos when I dine out too. Just all messy, just up in my face. It's cute. Shelly and Mark Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Shelly is actually Randy's sister, and during my Dirty 30 in Vegas, her and I became quite the Vegas nacho connoisseurs while we would go out. Jalapenos do have some kick, but not too bad. I'm only crying a little. I was actually crying mostly from the sharp shards of chip going down my throat, and only a little bit from the spiciness of the jalapenos, so it was kind of a really rough combo. It's tears of joy in my eyes. Tears of joy. Yeah, nothing quite like shards of <laughs> chip cutting up your throat and then doing a little jalapeno juice chaser. But yeah, these were really delicious. It was it was worth the pain. Made a pretty good dent in it. My jaw could use a nap. I could probably use a nap, but otherwise feeling great. <laughs> My jaw was definitely getting pretty fatigued at this point between the nice barbecued pork that was on top and then, <laughs> of course, chewing through all the chips, cheese, etc. Yeah, I was, uh, I was getting a little sleepy, a little lazy. We are finally at the eating with utensils stage. That's exciting. Most of the super crunchy chips are gone. It's all soft, delicious pork and healthy veggies now. And cheese. And cheese is basically its own health food, right? I mean, it has protein in it, fats. That's essential. <laughs> but yeah, this part was a little bit more cleanly as I dug in with a fork. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to ice cheese and ice cream. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that was Randy trying to entice me there. I think he could see the tears welling up in my eyes from the combination of flavor fatigue and the residual pain from just finishing up all of those shards of chips there. <laughs> oh, well. It's very delicious, and if ice cream is on the line, I'm going to finish this. Promise me ice cream, and I think I can move mountains. <laughs> it is one way to get me super pumped and super motivated. I should have strategically done this with a hangover and be gone already. That might actually not be too wrong, but anyways, on that note, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. A couple more bites left, and then we are on our way to a groovy t-shirt, and Randy's taking me out for ice cream. Cheers. Oh, there we go. Excuse me. Kilo Krill, final big old bite without eating parchment paper. Cheers to a delicious challenge. There's a nugget of corn. There we go. Uh, <laughs> That was really good. Wow. Uh, pull the hair down. You gotta glam up. It's like when he flips his hat back. That's me pulling my hair back down. Goodness gracious. All right, Kilo Crew, 34 minutes and 11 seconds was my final time to defeat the five pound pork nacho platter challenge at Front Street P Pub, excuse me, and Eatery. That was absolutely delicious. My jaw is very sad and dead right now, but otherwise that was amazing. Oh, luckily for winning, I do get the $35 meal for free, a groovy t-shirt, and a spot up on the wall of fame. And as a side bonus for myself, Randall's taking me out for ice cream. So that'll be very exciting, but yeah, some Whitey's ice cream, which I guess is a Davenport classic. So yay for that. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will of course catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out, bye. Thank you for my ice cream, Randy. I'm a winner. <laughs>